Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome to Whose Lies Anyway, the improvisation show which does for writers what Myxomatosis does for rabbits, starring the inimitable Josie Lawrence and co-starring the imitating Rory Bremner and introducing the intimidating Tony Slattery and finally a cameo performance from the immeasurable Mike McShane. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> good, good contestants. Now, we start, uh, we start tonight with a game called Scenes from a Hat. This is for all four contestants. Would you like to come on down? This is the hat. Uh, it's my hat, obviously, and into it have been put a number of suggestions uh, made by the studio audience of little games they can play or scenes they can play out. I'll buzz just as soon as I get the idea of what you're doing. A lot of points going for this, as if you cared. And here we go. Uh, what... <laughs> yes, very convincing. Now, uh, what, what your adolescence was really like? <laughs> Yes. Um, it's true. Yes. No, we all believed you, Tony. <laughs> Two politicians meet in the urinals. Urinals. <laughs> I must say, it makes a change to take the piss out of myself. <laughs> the last ever James Bond film. Hello, Miss Manley Penny. <laughs> Unlikely erogenous zones. <laughs> Algeria. <laughs> uh, the biggest jerk in the world. Tony? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Uh, those three little words. Camilla Parker Bowles. <laughs> Pointless things to take when crossing the Sahara. I've got the sand. And I've got Mark Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the work is in there. Let's move along. Thank you very much. And uh, oh, well, I have to get some. To get some points for that game, and there I've done it. Now we go to a game called uh, Sports Report, as you're all four contestants, and it's going to feature uh, Rory Bremner in a TV studio. Rory will be presenting a sports programme. Tony is an expert in the studio. Out in the field will be Josie Lawrence, who will be interviewing anybody who comes along, and anybody who comes along will be uh, Mike McShane. So it's, <laughs> it's a sports report, but it's about a special event, uh, the, the race between the tortoise and the hare, from our childhood stories. So once the sports report music starts, will you take it away, Rory? Shall I bring a bottle? Yeah. <laughs> Hi there. Uh, glad you could join us. Uh, my name's Des. Desmond Orchid, fast grey, loves a jump. Tell you what, though, a uh, bit of sports coming up for you. Glad you could join us. Uh, tortoise and hare this time. Uh, hare, of course, subject very close to... Uh, Clive Anderson's head. <laughs> right. Normally I'm joined by an expert, or Jimmy Hill. Uh, in this case, it's uh, Tony Slattery. How do you see it going, Tony? Well, it very much reminds me of that uh, extraordinary bout I saw between Martina Navratiluda and, and Virginia Wade. Yes. And then, afterwards, they played some tennis. Right. <laughs> and uh, with that, let's go to our reporter live on the spot. Uh, that's J.C. Lawrence there. Hello there, and we actually do have the hair with us. Uh, how's it going? <laughs> It's going pretty good. I'm pretty psyched, you know. I'm ready for it. The tortoise has got nothing on me. He's not doing any training. He's been taking it easy. He's been doing a lot of spawning and stuff like that. Takes a lot out of him, the mammal. Do you think you're being a little cocksure about ah, this? Listen, sweetheart. I bred made 15 family members this morning. I'm sure cocksure. I love it. Come back to the studio. Right, a man that makes Chris Eubank look uh, modest there. Uh, <laughs> right, I think what he was saying is it's not the winning that counts, Tony. The hair isn't going to win because I ran over it in my Range Rover earlier. <laughs> what say we find out? Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, sorry. It's so exciting here. We actually have the tortoise with us and it looks like... Uh, how do you feel? It looks like you might be... <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? How do you feel? Good. Do you think you're going to win? It depends. On what? Well. 
and back to the studio. Nice to find someone who thinks faster than Jim Rosenthal, though. <laughs> Uh, Tony, the tortoise there, uh, giving us his opinion. I know, and I haven't felt this good since I saw a British gymnast get a round of spontaneous applause for being able to walk unaided to the equipment. <laughs> OK, and uh, on that note, uh, back to the studio. <laughs> well, that was, uh, I think... I think, uh, I think we had everything in that game. Um, some of it fitted together. And we move on with film dub. This is for Tony and Rory. If they have to come down where they can see the monitor, they have to uh, add a new soundtrack to a piece of film from which the original soundtrack has been removed. And just a little bit of storyline I'd like to give you. It's just three, three men arguing over what to have for lunch. And uh, if you ask the soundtrack when it comes up, it should be about now. Oi, I told you what I want for my lunch. <laughs> I'm afraid I've got a very boring Michael Caine standing behind me. I'll have to... <laughs> Afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Who are you? I ordered the egg mayonnaise. Is anyone? <laughs> you know, this man is even more boring than Michael Caine. Get back to the country where you come from. Yes. Ah, yes, but you don't know where I come from, do you? <laughs> you know, I come from a place where eggs are very cheap and even there. Yeah. No one's saying anything, but we're thinking very loud. Well, I see you went to the same acting school I did. What? We don't go to acting school. Where I come from, we kill people like you. Very interesting. <laughs> Yes, shut up! <laughs> shut up and don't treat him so badly. I oh, seem to. I don't treat him at all. I go away, I walk with this very bad piece of acting towards the camera and you're left in the background. Now, tell me what you think about that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No. No, I'm ah. off. <laughs> very good. Well, it certainly must have been heaps better than the original, so I'll give you a million points each there. Now, let's do a, a game called Prison Visitor, and uh, Josie Lawrence is going to be the prison visitor. If you'd like to come on down. And she's visiting in uh, prison, first of all, Tony and then Mike. And Tony will sing his problems to her with the assistance of Richard Branch at the piano. Now, Tony, uh, we imagine he's uh, stolen something, but can anyone suggest something quite big that he might have stolen? <laughs> Stolen a bank, a jumbo jet. I think it's slightly more realistic to have stolen a jumbo jet than a whole bank. But, uh, OK, so you've stolen a jumbo jet, and that's naturally causing you some angst while in prison. Please sing that to Josie. I'll tell you about my problem. All right, then. Thanks. I got a problem. I'm in such pain. I stole myself a gigantic plane. I don't mean to bore ya, I don't mean to rant, but I put a 747 down my pants. I try to walk away in a straight line, but it will do. Now I think you must be insane. Oh. What a silly place to put a plane. I know. You know what I mean. What? You're gonna be a long time in this place. Seven for seven. Well, uh, yeah, okay, excellent. Yes. Uh, so, uh, now, Mike, uh, he hasn't said anything. He smuggled something into the country. What do you think he smuggled? A grandfather clock. No, I like the guy. That's the most unusual one. Grandfather clock you smuggled into the country. Oh. Take it away, Mike. What did you do, baby? Oh, baby, I did it for us, okay? You know my grandfather clock in the house, the one with the family of the cute brown mouse. Well, my grandfather died and he willed it to me. They took it away from me, I took it back. They took it away and I ran away, Jack. Now I stole the clock, what can I do, baby? I can hide the grandfather clock, I can <laughs> shove it up my bum. <laughs> but I'll be in a lot of pain with the swing from the pendulum. Oh, yes, yes! I know what I do. I'll hide it in my frock, so don't you worry, I look at the the 
Well, what a wealth of imagery we had in that song. <laughs> <laughs> I shall scarcely be able to look at my grandfather clock or indeed grandfather ever again. Uh, anyway, a few points there for Josie.